Welcome to my video review of the R30 rechargeable lithium flashlight. You get quite a nice case with this, a hard case. Just open it up and show you a few things that you get in this. I already have the battery inserted into the torch, that's a lithium battery that's already in there. You have a small strap here, a car charger with a single USB port. This is the 1 amp USB 3 pin UK plug charger, but you can use another charger if you wish. And this is the charging cable here. This has an adapter on it which plugs straight into the torch. There's also a spare O ring seal included. Looking at the case quickly, it's a very nice case. It's padded and it has an elasticated section here. There's also a popper on the back here with a belt loop. On the top we have another ring here so you can hook it onto something. It's quite a nice little case actually because it's not just a standard case, it's got a bit of guts to it and it does have padding all around so it actually offers some decent protection for the torch which fits in very nicely and snugly into that so it won't fall out. Just a quick look at the torch now, this is anodized aluminium, there's a nice grip here, feels very chunky and solid in the hand. That's the power button here and on the reverse is a charging port here that has a seal on it. You'll have to close that up to make sure that it is waterproof because it's rated to IPX8. On the top we have an orange peel effect reflector with tempered glass. This seals all around so it's completely waterproof. If you drop it and submerse it in water it should survive no problems. Now this has a single focus on the torch but you can adjust the power output through four various stages here through single clicks now if you double press there you'll see we have a strobe mode comes on and this is the SOS mode overall thoughts of the torch it's very nicely designed very good quality the kit included gives you pretty much everything that you might possibly need although I wouldn't mind a spare battery in there you can only use two types of lithium cell with this the 18650s are the most common you can't use two of them and you can't use the AAs but you do get quite a lot of power out of the lithiums and they're fairly easy to get a hold of if you want quicker charging times you can use an external charger on that so there's no real obvious complaints with this model bar the fact that it's fixed focus the kit is quite comprehensive you get a good selection of items there and really everything that you need including the decent quality cases there what I'll do is just put a couple of samples up quickly to show you the torch in darkness so you can see the various power output levels in the garden I'll do that in a while so you can see that um, power outputs about a thousand lumens they say which is quite powerful for a torch of this size um, certainly as good as I've seen for a torch in that class so I don't think you'll be unhappy with it in that respect and it's a nice compact size too